The Hawks get set to host the Ole Miss Rebels. Arkansas, consensus number one team in the land, and they've got the consensus number one pitcher in the land as well on the bump tonight. And Hagen Smith should be a treat tonight as the Rebels and the Hawks. Yeah, they really are. And, and this is a, his third year now being a big-time contributor to this Arkansas pitching staff. He leads the country in case per nine innings, striking out 55%, number one in the country. Flopping with Ethan Groff in the top. Really become a, a consistent strike pitch. He now lined and caught. <laughs> Self-defense. Hagen Smith just sticks the leather up and it finds the mitt. Tough play to handle if you're an Ole Miss offense. Andrew Fisher left on left, sticks his nose in there as hard as you can hit it. Chance to win the game. First pitch. That one is delivered out into center field. Peyton Stovall continues to swing a hot bat for Arkansas because he's he's been giving them a chance. Uh -oh. oh, that ball's touched. It is belted deep to right. A little too much topspin caught there by Trayson Hughes. And, and it was a slow start, but boy, he's starting to look the part now. Out to second. Rebels trying to turn it and get out of the inning, and they do so. Well done by Ole Miss. So the leadoff single from Peyton Stovall goes for not. We have him backed in a corner. You know what you're going to get. There's a walk, and that is news. It's just the 11th of the year. He won average over two years at Mercer. Oh, and he got <laughs> popped there. After knowing why he missed. Did he go? Yes, he did. Lions can't believe it. Called strike three, inning is over. So a walk and a hit batter. Left stranded at three strikeout inning, five for the game for Hagen Smith. A dozen times, right, in the first few innings. There's a high chopper, going to be a tough play, scooped up by Jared Sprague Lott and safe at first as the throw got McLaughlin off the bag. I mean, you know, it's interesting. I don't know that the bare hand was 100% necessary. How about this? No back bare hand there. Hits. Yeah. Struck out his first time. Lays down the bunt. Smith gives way to the third baseman. Jared Sprague lot. He can't make a play, and they'll be loaded now for Ole Miss. Boy, how about Hagen Smith walking in the first run of the game? But a, a win this inning for sure, no, no matter what. Hey, now. Lifted high in the air. Deep to left field on the warning track is Lovich who makes the catch, but that'll be a long sacrifice fly for Groff. And it's 2 nothing, Ole Miss. To the right side. McLaughlin over to Smith. He steps on the bag, but a couple of runs on the board for the Rebels. They lead it two to nothing. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Seven straight years of at least eight and four through 12 games of the SEC play. Nobody's done that but Skip Bertman's dominant early 90s LSU teams. Nobody. Is in this league. I know it. I mean, DVH has three total. Out to third. Fisher. Throws and nicely done by Udemark at first as he kept a foot on the bag. The and there's a couple bases. To the right side. Just testing out everybody in the infield. Luke Hill, his first start over at second base, making the play. As you throw him out here on the opening game against the number one team. Your thoughts about him early on? Uh, he's been good. You know, he's been filling up the strike zone uh, with all three pitches. And, uh, you know, fastball, slider, and change. Got him swinging. Out number two. Good take there, and he draws a walk. Fisher, 11 home runs last year as a freshman at Duke. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. The inning is over, so three strikeouts this inning, but the Rebels will leave a couple of runners. Eight strikeouts all told for Hagen Smith, but the Rebels was, leave. Excuse me, we knew the sinker was really good, but it's the breaking ball that's been fantastic early on in this one. There's a base hit back up the middle. Third hit of the game for Arkansas. Now it's first and second. A couple of freshmen out there. Randall at shortstop. Lions behind the plate. And that one gets past Trenton Lions, and the runners will move up to second and third. Here in the 
bottom of the fourth inning. One out, two on for the Hogs. Here's a chopper. The shift is on. They'll give it to Randall. He'll throw it at first, but Arkansas does play to runner. Cut the lead in half. So Ole Miss now up two to one as Aloy touches home plate. Luke Hill and Randall both standing on third base side of second. Ground ball, the shift again, and they'll get the out. So the Hogs do pick up a run, but they still trail two to one through four. And Hagen Smith just mowed through that lineup. This one looks like in foul territory. And it'll be caught there by Aloy. Nice catch. I mean, this shows you how far the wind, how hard the wind's blowing, Dave. This ball stayed, stayed fair, first of all, and got out there, I don't know, 275 feet or so. And go down two to one. Do they go to McIntyre? You know, do they go to one of their their best bullets out of the bullpen? I, you know, there he is. Well, I guess that swing and a miss. Oh, did you see that? Hagen Smith just looked in the dugout and shook his head no. He just shook his head no. And it looks like they're going to stay with him. He, he... Swing and a miss for the second out. And for the third time, Udemark goes down. Over at first base after starting the inning with a walk. Lifted in the air. Playable out there in left. Lovich will make the catch. And so a season high in pitches for Hagen Smith. Maybe not his best performance on the mound, but we'll see if that's it for Hagen. His team down two to one, heading to the bottom of the sixth. Just outing by starter last weekend for the Rebels. And there's a walk. Pretty good jump. And it's 3-0 now. And back-to-back -back walks. That one shot out to right. It is hammered. It is out of here. Home run. Bahiva Aloy gives Arkansas the lead with a three-run blast. Well, now to get the home crowd up on their feet, Dave Neal, that is a loud swing of the bat right there. And those walks, will they kill you or what? A couple walks to start this inning, and you get the... Yeah, the sinker didn't sink right here. Just stay on it. Use the backside of the field. A backside no-doubter. The Hogs give the home crowd something to cheer about as they take the lead and the transfer from Sac State puts an exclamation point on this rally. In a 4-2 ball game. Boy, launches that one deep into the sky. Fair or foul? Fair ball. Home run. Boy, and just like that, the number one team in America with a five spot. Excuse me, a four spot here in the sixth. And saw Sky. That was a bunt that the shift was on. That's going to go for a base knock. Ross Lovich plays he's it perfectly. He's going to do it, isn't he? <laughs> he's just going to do it. We saw. What did he. Big hole on the left side for a base hit. Then playing at Missouri. Swing and a miss. Well, they turn it over to Will McIntyre, the senior out of Bryant, Arkansas, and he has become one of uh, their dudes out of that bullpen. His 14th appearance of the year already, 2 0 32 against him in league play. Here's a little chopper. Malloy charges, throws, and they'll get the first out here in the seventh. And that one misses down low. So a one out. And the inning is over. Got the strikeout. He is as polished of a hitter as, as Lankford at this point in time. I mean, when you look at all the different analytics that surround swing decisions and swinging and missing and batted ball profiles, all those kinds of things, investment of these programs into their baseball. But it is crazy right now how many stars there are in this league. Wilms Meyer just shot the track, makes the kick. Got him. McIntyre's coming out of the bullpen and retired six of the seven he has faced. And another strikeout for Hogs pitching tonight. There's a little chopper right at the shift. Braden Randall over to first. That'll be out number two. Ball. To the right side. 
bobbled. And Udemark able to get a glove on it and step on the bag. And that'll get us to the ninth inning. Ole Miss needs a big frame to keep this one going. Same decision. Uh -huh. Over to first, underhand toss to McIntyre, and that'll be the first out of the inning. There's, again, you know, we talked to Mike Bianco about it. They, McIntyre now just one out away. Nimson had 10 or more strikeouts. To the right side, Stovall gloves, throws, and throws it in the dugout. Nice job by Hudson White to get over there right in front. Yep. Stone Hewlett, though, the senior, takes over, making his 12th appearance. Another ERA of under two. Just six. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and this one's in the books. Hewlett comes in for one batter and gets the strikeout. The 15th Rebel to go down on strikes tonight. Hagan Smith goes to 6-0 oh on the year. Arkansas's first 9-1 start in conference play since 2009, and the number one team in America looks every bit the part, Berkey. Nice. Elite level, right? Just just two runs again in a, in a game where maybe Hagan Smith wasn't even his sharpest, but the offense keeps finding ways to score him enough runs, and, man, this is one heck of a winning formula Dave Van Horn's got going this year.